It's commonly assumed that handedness is genetic and there is no evidence for that. And quite to the contrary, the high incident of um, hand of left-handedness in identical twins is something that needs to be explored because not only does it show that genetics don't play a role because these twins are identical genetically but one is left-handed and one is right-handed it indicates that there is something happening already in utero where the child comes out uh, predisposed and of course the children uh, fetus moves in the uterus and the fetus grabs at things and when you have two fetuses identical twins there is a strong connection between them and that includes physical contact now if one reaches with the right hand <coughs> this twin would get the left hand of the other twin so as one is acting with the right hand the other one is responding with the left this is a possibility in terms of um, that, that one of them would develop stronger with the left hand because um, yeah it's very simple actually right it's extremely simple but again uh, you know until not so long ago and it's actually continuing that so much of what we assume to be is actually a guess those are guesses made by scientists years ago because they wanted to make a name for themselves or explain something that they couldn't explain and so their um, attitude was more like well this is what you pay me for here is the result and it hasn't been checked and when you look at the medical uh, the online newspapers the medical journals they, they like to pick headlines from the discussion part of studies they basically like to um, look at the theories and say wow this one sounds interesting <coughs> and you know the, the facts facts won't find you you have to actually go out and find them you have to look deeper into it and I have done that in terms of handedness and there is nothing I can find now why is such is left-handedness so frequent in RH negative people I have to look at everything else that is more common in RH negatives, which is intuition. Um, I would call it the flexibility of the mind kind of thing, and flexibility in general. Are you a very flexible person? Um, does it drive you nuts when people are set in their... This is something I heard my whole life. By the time you're 40, you're set in your way. Really? Who said that? Who, who came up with that? Is, that? is that? is that science? Is it genetic? People would always make these kind of statements. By the time you're 40, your face is the face you've created. <clears throat> really? So maybe that explains why so many RH negatives have persecuted over the um, centuries. Because we don't fit in to the overall uh, dumbing down <laughs> process you know what I mean everything that's different somebody feels threatened by because they cannot explain it and by the way the same thing there are many great studies already out there or have been finished that cannot get published in medical journals and the reason is that the editor needs to have an explanation why that is you cannot even publish a study that shows that red 
and uh, wavy hair is more frequent in Rh negative people. Can't show that because they need to have an explanation that fits into their, um, you know, what what has turned into the. Um, prof I can't even say the word because it's so, you know, it, it's kind of like. Um, war on drugs or whatever, you know, all these phrases, whenever you hear something, you need to sometimes assume that the opposite is actually the case. Um, all of this actually has to do with somebody wanting to keep the position and looking good while doing so. So when there is a challenge coming up, um, very few of the scientists actually say, wow, that's cool, let me look deeper into this. Most of them will say, no, 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 I'm good. I don't want to know more than I've already learned. Now I want to make a good living using what I had to learn. Very few scientists are actually passionate. And uh, somebody told me recently that um, in her chemistry class, there's a huge number, like almost half of the students are, are, are left-handed. Maybe there are predispositions for... Who knows? Abstract, who, who knows what it is? But I know that when I post the list of Irish negative celebrities, you will see a lot of left-handed people. A lot of them are. And when I, whenever I did my own survey, it was way higher than the national averages. And again, when you look also at different societies, I think that you know, in Asia, it's very low left-handedness, and I'm. It's probably got something to do with, you know, what they did with me. Just you're right-handed. You're right-handed. Why are you writing with your left hand? You're right-handed. No, no, no. It's better you do like this. It's better you do like that. Which is really absurd, and I think that also Irish negative parents are less likely to force their child into something. I know that in my case it goes completely against my nature to tell another human being what to believe or um, state something as fact that I'm not even sure about. You know, anything that I'm not sure about, I, I uh, wow, I, you know, if, a, if, if an employer or uh, if it's an official business and I have to look like I'm competent, of course I'll say, you know, I'll make something up, you know, as you have to, otherwise, you know, you go down the drain. But when it's something someone I care about or somebody that, uh, where it's my own time and nothing, and you ask me a question, I don't know, no, I'm not going to make anything up, you know what I mean? That's why, especially not with children. I think it's really a crime against children to uh, lead them down the wrong path and you'd be surprised how you know impactful anything you say can be. You know you don't want to put the burden on them to later have to relearn or unlearn something that you said. It's very very bad. Very bad. So I would say that as an Irish negative parent, you probably want to kind of step back and see and let them show you who they are. Let the child show you who they are. Let them develop. We all know that our lives have not been perfect. And that part of how we developed was also adapting to whatever surrounded us. So we want to give the kids more freedom. I think that spirit of freedom is something that not only we demand, but we also grant to others. Uh, we are not parasites, parasitic people. We are not. We expect what we are also willing to give. And I think we all long for society, a real tribe that kind of has an exchange of the give and take scenario where you don't have to compete with the other members of the tribe. You maybe compete against the other tribe. And it's not always a competition. It's just uh, you do your thing, we do ours.